Hi, I'm China Corvino, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the teleprompter, a critical part of any news broadcast. First, open the Newsroom 4.5 program on the desktop. When you open it, click the Cast Edit button on the top toolbar to make a new window appear. Click the drop-down menu labeled Cast and select TV Spare. You can create a new story by clicking the New Story icon in the upper left. Within the document screen that has appeared, you can type out your script now. You can change the size, format, and color of the font, but it won't affect the text as it appears in the broadcast. It's just for your convenience. You can also click the Properties tab and then select the Properties tab at the side to name your story and set the story's author, making it easier to find it in the list of stories. When you're done, click the Post button. It won't show up yet. You have to click the icon in the top left to refresh the list so your story will appear. Remember to spell check your story thoroughly and go over it with your talent to make sure they know how to pronounce all names in the script. Once your story is done, you're ready to broadcast. Open the iPrompt program on the desktop. In Newsroom, locate the yellow icon under the Cast drop-down. Click the drop-down arrow next to the icon and select F08D. Then go to Cast at the top of the screen, click Connect. Go back to Cast again and select Save to iPrompt to save your story. Now under Q Document in iPrompt, select the spot you saved your document to and load it up. Hit the full screen icon in the top right to enlarge the window. In the studio, make sure the prompter is turned on. There are two ways to control the teleprompt during the broadcast. You can click the left mouse button to start and pause the scrolling, and roll the mouse wheel up and down to increase or decrease the speed. When the prompt is paused, the mouse wheel will instead scroll the script up and down. You can do the same with the spacebar and the up and down arrows. It is important you keep the teleprompt at a speed comfortable for the talent. A good rule of thumb is to keep the current line you're reading in the center of the screen. Pay attention to their pace during the broadcast and adjust the prompter speed to suit them. If the talent is having trouble reading the prompter, in iPrompt when it's loaded, click Enlarge to full screen to see the full menu. Click Options to adjust the size of the text and the line spacing. The default size is 7, with 1.5 spacing, but you should go with whatever is comfortable for your talent. A small but important reminder. When making any changes to your document in Newsroom, you have to first close iPrompt, then start it up again, connect and save, to make sure your changes take effect. You can't connect and save your document unless iPrompt is running. Now you've got all the information you need to broadcast your story to the studio, so go ahead and give it a try.